A robotic underwater glider launched into the Atlantic toward Spain by a Rutgers oceanography team survived more than five months before a leak brought it down near the Azores more than 3,000 miles away. Now with lessons learned from that long distance experiment, the team is preparing for another attempt next March. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. Rutgers Institute of Marine and Coastal Sciences has been assembling a fleet of robotic underwater explorers, like space probes for Earth's oceans, and integrating their operation into the undergraduate program. Students were pilots for this transatlantic attempt. They also had a hand in preparing the glider for the trailblazing mission. To maximize its chances of making it all the way, they devoted nearly twice as much payload space as usual to batteries. And power, they say, was not among the problems they encountered on a cruise that ran for the first few months according to plan. First we have to leave New Jersey and get across our continental shelf. And so that's where we fly within our observatory and try to get under all the fishing activity and get out into the open ocean. From there, we cross the slope sea into the Gulf Stream, and that's this section here. From there, we fly in the Gulf Stream, uh, using the currents in the Gulf Stream to push us along until we get past the tail of the Grand Banks. This all went really well. Then currents and eddies, expected but largely uncharted, took over. We'd be piloting the glider according to the data that we had, and we'd think we'd be being pushed one way and we totally go off into a circle a different way. And in these eddies, sea creatures further complicated the task. We think remoras were holding us down at night in some of these locations and in other places we had interactions with the squid at night that uh, caused us to have problems with uh, steering and uh, reduced our speed as we were heading uh, across. And we were just about to approach the Azores when um, we started having some, some leaks. After more than 3,400 miles, a record for this type of vehicle, the mission was over. The project goes on. There's a lot we learned just about the glider for going out for so long, so it's neat to see what you can do to improve the flight characteristics of a glider after being out so long. There was a lot of collaboration um, that we didn't expect that we would have, and we know now that we have these acquaintances for when we go and do it for the second time. Hopefully we're going to get it out in March and get across this time, for real, and get all the way over there. Beyond that, they say they're looking toward other destinations. Ireland, the Canaries, Puerto Rico. Patrick Regan, NJN News, New Brunswick.